Good day and welcome to the program. My name is Pastor T. L. Emmanuel, and I'm going to share a prophetic word that I received from the Lord recently. This is a word that's going to affect people in South Africa, but also people around the world. Uh, there are bits that are relevant to this country, and then there are bits that are relevant to people across the globe. Uh, there's something that I saw um, which alludes to terrorist attacks, terrorist attacks coming to South Africa and the rest of the world. Uh, and this is how the word actually goes. Um, so I prefer to read uh, these prophecies out loud um, so that I don't miss anything. So I'm going to read that which the Lord has given to me. Um, on the 7th of November 2023, this is last year, uh, I saw the following in a vision. This was a vision. I saw a map of the world. It was the world map. Then I saw animated 3D lines. Animated 3D lines. We can imagine 3D lines shoot out from several countries in the Middle East. So in the Middle East, I saw these nations. We can imagine countries such as Pakistan or Afghanistan or Yemen or Lebanon, uh, places like that. So I saw these 3D lines shoot out from these countries in the Middle East to many parts of the world, many parts of the world, including Europe, including the US and South Africa. The lines looked like glowing thin fiber optic cables. So they were animated, they were moving from those nations and going to different parts of the world. It was as if something was being exported from these different nations in the Middle East to many parts of the world. So it looked like something was being moved, transported, exported from these countries through these lines that I was seeing. However, as each line reached its intended destination and it touched it, so these lines would then move from say Lebanon or whatever other part of the Middle East, once it touched, say, South Africa or certain parts of the US or Europe, then there was an explosion. We saw an explosion. So the line would then move, touch, and then explode. There were explosions everywhere. So I saw explosions take place all over the world. So wherever these lines landed, there were explosions. As each line touched a city or a town, it exploded so when i saw it i was quite concerned because i didn't understand fully what it is that i was seeing then i heard the lord say this he said terrorist sleeper cells terrorist sleeper cells then i knew this has something to do with terrorism amen then i knew that the animated fiber optic cables were lines of communication lines of communication from these Middle East nations activating sleeper cells in all those different nations across the globe. So clearly people were communicating from the Middle East to these nations. So these optic, fiber optic cables were lines of communication from the Middle East to these uh, different nations and then people were then communicating from those nations to uh, say South Africa or the US or Europe or other parts of the world. And then it means that uh, these explosions were then launched from those parts of the world, at least in terms of communication. We should therefore expect to see Islamist uh, terrorist organizations attack different targets around the world. So I believe that terror attacks are coming, terror attacks are going to be launched from the Middle East. Uh, so the puppet masters are in the Middle East and then uh, the soldiers, the foot soldiers are then going to be all over the world in sleeper cells. Uh, I believe we're going to see lone wolf attacks, we're going to see uh, possibly uh, people wearing, um, you know, vests that will then explode or they're going to be uh, people are going to plant bombs in all these different regions. They clearly already have jihadists or jihadis rather embedded in those nations in sleeper cells. So clearly these people are there in those nations already in South Africa. We've seen uh, recently Libyans uh, being found in this nation. I believe it was in Pumalanga. They found them and then they found uh, weapons, um, you know, with them uh, in a camp and then they had to be arrested. I believe they've been, um, the charges were dropped and then they've been deported. Uh, but we know what's been happening in the US. Uh, the US border, the US-Mexico border is very porous. Uh, you know, uh, a lot of people from the Middle East have been traveling um, to those South American nations and then getting into the US through the Mexico border. Uh, so I believe that uh, this has something to do with that as well. 
So these jihadis are now embedded in these nations that they are they're here in South Africa, that they are in the US, that they are in certain European nations as well, I believe other parts of the world, uh, in sleeper cells just waiting for the go-ahead from these other nations uh, in the Middle East. So I believe they're about to send the signal to destroy Western and other targets with bomb blasts. So I believe there are bomb blasts coming. I believe that the current Israel-Palestine war is what has triggered this response. So I believe we're about to see something happen to the world. We're going to see terror attacks uh, being launched from the Middle East to many different parts of the world. And then we're about to see these things uh, these attacks affect these nations. There are going to be explosions everywhere, including in South Africa. And you will see, uh, as I carry on with this prophetic word, which parts of South Africa I believe uh, will then be targeted. And then the Lord showed me another dream. Then I had another dream. Uh, on the 13th of August 2023 uh, and all these words are documented on my Facebook page uh, so they are there in written form so I'm just making videos so that we can uh, reach more people through YouTube so on the 13th of August uh, in 2023 I had another dream and I shared it um, on my Facebook page I had a dream and in this dream I could see into the United States of America from my kitchen window so I was in my kitchen and from inside the kitchen through the window I could see into the US, or this is a dream. Uh, it was as if I was watching a news broadcast. Uh, so it was as if I'm watching television, uh, even though I was seeing through my kitchen window. So the kitchen window was like a television screen. So therefore, uh, it was as if I was watching television and looking through my window, but as if it was a TV screen. Uh, I saw chaos in the US, I saw chaos in the United States of America, I saw fire, I saw smoke and commotion on the streets of America. So it was as if something had just happened in America. People were running, uh, people were running away. Uh, I saw fire, I saw explosions, uh, I could hear what was happening as well. So there was a lot of pandemonium, there was a lot of panic uh, that was taking place at the time. Uh, it was uh, as if there had just been some kind of explosion and people were fleeing from it. So something exploded, there was an explosion, and then people were running away, people were scattering. Uh, but then I could perceive that it was more than one explosion that was there. However, it was as if it was something that it affected the entire country. So the rest of the US was affected by uh, these explosions. So there were explosions everywhere in the United States of America. Uh, from the news report, I knew that the violence in America was about to affect South Africa. So as I looked out the window, I could tell, I could perceive that this violence that I'm seeing, that I'm looking at through this window, is about to come to South Africa as well, uh, where I'm based, of course. I could sense that South Africa uh, was next, and it will be affected somewhat by what was happening in America. So these explosions that were taking place in America were about to take place in South Africa as well. And I believe, as we just said now, that there are going to be explosions and we saw those tentacles, those lines. I believe that uh, we're going to see explosions in America first and then we're going to see them in South Africa. So once we see explosions in America, just know that they're coming next to South Africa. Uh, then I saw myself in the dream, gather my family and we stood in the kitchen. There was a man who was with us. He was dressed in white. He was an angel. So there's this angel usually who reveals things to me through dreams and he comes into my dreams and then he guides me and then certain things then begin to happen and then they come to pass. Uh, I then told my family that we had to leave the country. That's how bad it got, that we needed to leave the country before things turned ugly for South Africa. I mentioned a specific country where we had to flee. So the Lord, uh, and it's something that you need to pray about. I believe that there's going to be such violence all over the world there are going to be such attacks that people might have to flee the country it's going to become as bad as that um, but when i looked outside i could see the mood in the rest of south africa things were peaceful and quiet still things were still quiet and peaceful in the country but i knew it was just a matter of time before what was happening in the u.s spilled over into south africa so it means that something is coming something is going to happen in the US first. There are going to be explosions in America first and then South Africa will be next. We're going to be affected by what's going to happen in America. Amen. Um, so then I woke up, then I woke up from this dream and then I knew that 
uh, something is coming to South Africa, it's going to start in the US, there are going to be explosions there. But as the Lord said already in the dream that I shared uh, earlier, that there are terrorist sleeper cells in these nations, and then there are going to be terrorist attacks in America, I believe. And then these attacks are going to be replicated in South Africa, and I believe they're going to affect a very specific part of South Africa, at least the part that I saw. Perhaps other people have seen uh, other parts of South Africa, but the ones, the parts that I saw are the ones that I'm about to then share with you. Amen. So on the 25th of November, 2023, I had another dream, another dream. Amen. I had a prophetic dream. And in this dream, I was in an office park in a multi-story building in what looked like mid-range or centurion or sentin. Amen. It was in that corridor, if you know it. Uh, so it is sentin, mid-range, centurion. Amen. So it was in that corridor. Uh, this is now uh, areas in Johannesburg, South Africa. Uh, I was in the second or third floor yeah, of this building. I was watching the news on a television set hanging on one of the office walls. So there was an office wall. On the office wall, there was a TV set hanging. It was mounted on the wall and I was watching a news broadcast. On the TV set, I saw a lady being interviewed. Somebody was being interviewed. Something was happening. This person was standing outside uh, an office block and then the person was giving an interview. You can imagine someone standing outside an office park. Behind them, you can see an office park. They're standing outside. There's a television crew with them, and then they're interviewing the person. So I'm seeing this now on the screen. Uh, suddenly, a building that was probably less than a kilometer behind her exploded. There was a large explosion. So it was not uh, the building next to this lady. It was something further back. Amen. So about a kilometer away from her, it then exploded. Uh, the explosion was visible uh, in the TV interview, so I could see it. I could see it. Uh, and it was audible too, so the bang was very loud. It was a bomb explosion. So this was happening somewhere in Sentin, uh, Midrand, Centurion. I knew that was the region because that's where I was. Uh, so the explosion was loud, it was visible. So this lady even turned around in shock to look at the building go up in smoke. So she turned around, behind her she could see this building that had just exploded. There was black smoke coming out of the building uh, that just exploded. In my spirit I knew it was a bomb blast, it was a bomb blast, it was an explosion, it was a huge one. Amen. I then turned around and spoke to the person next to me. There was somebody with me, there were people with me in the office uh, block, the office park, the actual office itself, the people with me. So this person who was standing next to me, and I said to them, I told you that attacks were coming to Johannesburg. So uh, in the dream, I knew about the dreams I've just spoken about now. So in the dream, I could remember that I had shared that there are going to be explosions in Johannesburg. So now definitely they were happening now. The explosions were happening. And now it was very specific. The explosions were happening in the Sentin Midrand uh, Centurion Corridor. Amen. In the dream, I could remember the prophetic word I gave recently about terrorist attacks on Johannesburg and shopping malls. We'll talk about shopping malls just now and other areas in South Africa. Glory to God. Uh, as I said that, it became apparent that the explosion didn't happen too far from where I was. I looked out the window and I could see the smoke from the building that just blew up. So from where I was, I could see exactly where this uh, explosion actually took place. So the explosion happened not too far from where I was, probably a kilometer away or so. Suddenly, while still looking at the building that just exploded through the window, I saw the building in front of it also explode. It also exploded. This is now the second building exploding. Now two buildings had just exploded. Suddenly the building in front of the second building also exploded. Also exploded. Glory to God. And a third and a fourth. So this is now a string of explosions. A string of explosions now happening in this region. The explosions were now coming my direction. Office buildings, in that area were targeted and were now exploding one after the other. But very quickly, the explosions were loud and everything around us was rattling. So I could hear rattling um, in the building where I was. I then called out to the people around me and told them not to run downstairs. I told them 
to run to the roof, to run to the roof. Uh, as we made our way to the roof, I could see a military helicopter, a military helicopter. So that tells us something. This is now something that requires the South African military to actually intervene. So this is an act of war, an act of sabotage, an act of something, uh, of terrorism. And that's why then the military had to step in. So I could see a military helicopter hovering above us, helping to evacuate everyone. Outside, uh, it was dark and I could see black smoke and it looked like the sky was overcast. I also saw a lot of dust. I then woke up. I then woke up. So I believe we're going to see explosions in South Africa. The explosions are going to start in the US, of course. These are going to be terrorist attacks. Uh, we're going to see these attacks specifically happen in Sentin, we're going to see uh, the Midrand area, we're going to see the Centurion Corridor. In that corridor, in that corridor, we're going to see explosions in that region. So if you're in that corridor, please be warned. Please be warned. You need to pray about this. Pray about this so that when this happens, you are not caught unawares. Amen. And then uh, on the 20th of June, 2024, this is now recently, uh, this one is a vision uh, that I saw confirming exactly the same thing. I was driving in a car with someone on my way to Pretoria. Uh, Pretoria is a suburb uh, after Johannesburg towards the north. I was a passenger in this car and the person I was with was the driver. While driving past the Midrand Centurion area specifically, uh, I fell asleep momentarily. I fell asleep momentarily. Uh, I then had a very short dream, very short dream. I saw a building by the side of the road on fire. So a building by the side of the road on fire, it looked like there had just been an explosion of sorts that set this building alight. It was not a small fire, but a massive inferno that was dangerously out of control. In fact, it looked like it was just about to raise the building to the ground and then woke up. It was a very short dream. So this is four dreams, four dreams that I had, that the Lord showed me. Um, about something that's about to happen to this nation. I believe something's coming. There's going to be uh, a terrorist thing that's going to happen across the globe, but South Africa is going to be affected, in particular that corridor, the Sentin, Midrand, and Centurion uh, corridor. Amen. But I believe there's something else the Lord has showed me and that I believe I need to share with you. This is now another dream. Uh, in fact, this one is a vision. This one is a vision. Amen. On the 30th of October, uh, 2023, I saw the following vision. Amen. I saw myself at Four Ways Mall. Um, Four Ways Mall is a shopping mall in the Gauteng province of South Africa. It is the largest mall in South Africa currently. Uh, I was in the underground parking of this mall. So I saw myself there. I knew it was Four Ways because I know the mall. I've been there various times. I then saw what looked like a sandstorm, a sandstorm, uh, or a very dirty wind blow uh, in the south of Johannesburg. But uh, the minute I saw a sandstorm, I knew that that might, or this might have something to do with something Middle Eastern. As you know, sandstorms are uh, very Middle Eastern. Uh, these are things that occur in that region of the world. So I believe that we're going to see a storm come to South Africa. Amen. It's going to affect four ways. And I believe there is going to be a sandstorm in particular, meaning it's something that's going to emanate from the Middle East because we don't get sandstorms in South Africa. Uh, so this thing looked like a sandstorm or a very dirty wind blow in the south of Johannesburg. It looked like somewhere in the Soweto area. Soweto is a township uh, in the south of Johannesburg. Amen. In fact, I knew that it was at Southgate Mall. Southgate Mall is a mall uh, in the south of Johannesburg in Soweto. So these are now two malls. I mean, one mall, I'm seeing the storm come from uh, Southgate Mall uh, in Soweto. So from uh, Four Ways Mall, uh, which is now in the north of Johannesburg, I could see all the way down to the south of Johannesburg. I could see a sandstorm coming all the way to Four Ways Mall. Amen. So it was a very dirty, sandy wind or sandstorm it reached all the way to where i was standing 
in the underground parking uh, of Four Ways Mall. Soon the underground parking was full of red sand. I could feel the wind of the sandstorm. I could also feel the sand beating against my skin and I could taste it in my mouth. Glory to God. I then saw a sandstorm affect many other parts uh, of South Africa, not just Haute. So I believe this is linked to these terrorist attacks. I believe the sandstorm stands for or symbolizes an attack from the Middle East because of the sandstorm itself. We don't get sandstorms in South Africa. And I believe that shopping malls in South Africa are going to be the target. We're going to see shopping malls being targeted. Uh, we're going to see Southgate Mall being targeted. We're going to see Four Ways Mall being targeted. For years, I've been sensing that there's going to be an explosion at the Mall of Africa in uh, Midrand. There's a big mall there. It's called the Mall of Africa in Midrand. Uh, for years, in fact, I've been warning others not to go there. Or before they go there, they need to pray first. So I believe there's going to be an explosion there as well. Uh, but also, this looks like we're going to have different attacks throughout South Africa. This sandstorm is going to affect many different parts of the country. And this is something that we need to be aware of. Therefore, be vigilant, pray. Amen. It's so important that we do that. It's very necessary that we pray about this. Pray about this word. Pray about your safety as well. And make sure that the Lord keeps you safe. Glory be to God. Amen.